Good morning, Floss Tube. It is Sunday, November 13th, 2016. I just got back from a weekend retreat in Sevierville, um, Pigeon Forge, Tennessee. Um, it is around 9.30 in the morning, and it's a three-hour drive, so it was an early morning for me, but I was anxious to get home and see my husband, unpack stuff, and just get ready for the work week. Um, so the retreat was tons of fun. Uh, Katrina put it on, and I will um, link her information down below because she's going to do, I think, 16 retreats this next year. And it's just easy, laid back. Um, we started at about 9 on Friday morning, and um, it was just in a meeting room at a Drury Inn. We each had a section of a table, and you just set up and and stitch and, and chat and meet new people. Um, I think everyone was from Kentucky, Tennessee, North Carolina, Georgia, maybe Alabama. So there might have been a Virginia person too. So, you know, fairly close. Everyone probably lived within about five hours of the, um, of the retreat. And I think there may be 20 of us or so there. And so we just stitched and chatted and giggled and um, made new friends. Um, Katrina has a, a shop that she sets up in the meeting room. So she just has bins of patterns and fabric. And then she's, she's got the ultimate van. So the van downstairs, I think she's got like pegboard or something hanging up. She's got floss all over the walls of the van. So the ultimate, ultimate driving machine. Um, and so then you could just shop um, at your leisure the whole time. Um, we did an ornament exchange, and I didn't participate in that. I just didn't have a chance to do an ornament. But it was wonderful seeing how the ladies had finished the ornaments. And um, I wish I'd taken pictures because it gave me lots of ideas. And then we did a, um, a dirty Santa. So, you know, you take a, a package and you, you draw numbers. So the items needed to be within $30, $35 worth of cross-stitch items. And then you draw numbers. Um, you can either take a gift that hasn't been opened yet, or you can steal from someone else. Um, so one of the reasons why I'm doing this video right when I got home is so that I can show you what I got and then unpack it and put it away. So I did steal from someone else. And this is what I got. I've already taken it out of the big bag. But um, I have glitter everywhere. It's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. So big slide full of glitter. I don't make me sparkle like a vampire the rest of the day. But inside there, different things. So it was this needle travel book. And so it was um, 2016 edition, which is good because lots of needle shops come and go. And so it has quilting, yarn, needlepoint, weaving, spinning, cross-stitch, and embroidery shops. And I do quilting, yarn, needlepoint, cross-stitch. So it covers a lot of bases. So I thought that that's going to be awesome. Um, next week I'm heading to Houston. And I might get a chance to go check out a few of these. So there was that. Um, there was also the 2017 keepsakes calendar with all the patterns and the patterns are absolutely gorgeous I should have opened this up so I could show you um, but this time they gave you an entire separate book of patterns I love this one on the front so every love story is beautiful but ours is my favorite this might be the easiest way to show you um, <laughs> Then there are these, so gorgeous little stocking, and I think those, if you didn't want to do the whole stocking, you could, you know, take those apart and just do some pretty ornaments with that. Um, this gorgeous winter village scene, they used some incredible dyed fabric for that. Um, a stained glass um, window, and then that cover. Um, sort of a primitive looking sampler, uh, a really cool Halloween one. I'm not huge into Halloween, but starting to collect some of those. This beautiful pumpkin. Love, love, love that. 
the Santos that I'm already working on. Um, maybe that's a sign that I will finish them in 2017. Um, this very pretty rose, which looks like it would take about 1,100 years. Uh, the cute little bicycle, little, little um, shop reminds me of um, Murder, She Wrote. You know, she rode her little bicycle everywhere. Cute little thing. Oh, I didn't see this one. Rooster. Um, some red work. And then um, like a, a table cover. So those patterns were part of the 2017 calendar. That was in the basket. Um, this cute little bunny. Cross-stitch kit was in the basket. Adorable. And this is really why I stole the basket. I just thought these were so pretty. They're just DMC threads, but I loved how she packaged them together in the in the Christmas sort of colorway. So a bunch of yellows, a bunch of reds, and a bunch of greens. And one of the things I did over the last couple of weeks was actually completed my DMC stash. Joann's was having a sale, and I only needed 100 skeins. And so I got them for 30 cents a piece done. So now in 2017, there are no excuses for me to buy anything because I've got every single DMC floss. Don't have all the weeks I work stuff, so probably go buy. Um, a little pink should be very cute. So yeah, this is still out of my basket that I stole. Um, some beeswax, which I have never tried. I've tried Thread Heaven, and so this will be fun to try. And um, some cute little scissors and a tape measure, which I lose tape measures all the time. With my knitting, I'm constantly using tape measures, and so always good to have those. And you can never have enough scissors. Um, and then I got a door prize during the retreat, Be Mine Valentine. So anyway, so that was all my goodies that I got as a gift. Um, the people, like I said, were absolutely great. So... Um, Dina, uh, I think her floss tube is half stitch. I will link her below. Um, so yeah, so I'm Dina, she's Dina. We sat across from each other and Dana sat right next to us. It was Dina, Dina, Dana. Um, and Dina was doing incredible work. Well, everybody was doing incredible work. Um, Janet um, sat over near us, or right next to the other Dina. Um, Janet doesn't have a floss tube, but she needs to because she's got the best stories ever. Um, I met Joanna from um, North Carolina, sweet, sweet lady, um, and then just lots of others, um, Dot and um, Missy and Katrina, and I, I don't know all the names. Um, so what I worked on, I, yeah, I had this, this impression that I stitch a whole lot faster than I do, and I think, oh, I'll finish that in 30 minutes, and I better have other stuff. Well, you know, five hours later, I've done what I thought I could do in 30 minutes. So this is my um, Song of the Seasons. So the only thing I worked on there was that bottom panel piece. Um, so, yeah, I need to fill in all this stuff here. Got the other house to do. Um, but maybe during football this afternoon, I can get this bottom section done because I don't think it's going to take that long. Um, but I love this. I absolutely love it. I um, hated putting it away last time, but I wanted to force myself to work on something else for a while. Um, but I really enjoy this. I love seeing how the colors are evolving. So I worked on that. I um, also worked on this. There's glitter all over it. So I don't know if this is Russian or, or what it is. Um, Alyssa, the little cute deer. And I forgot to bring like Q snaps or hoops or anything for something small like this because I've just been using my scroll frame. So I tried stitching in hand because they were talking about that. It wasn't too bad. And it's Ada, so Ada really doesn't need, this kind of Ada doesn't need anything. Um, so I got a little bit done on it. I think it's really cute. And then the um, pumpkin, frosted pumpkin mystery stitch along merry and bright so pretty much got um this is pretty much clue one i'm supposed to extend this over but somehow i messed up a stitch somewhere and 
so I've shortened this on this end. Couldn't figure out where I messed it up. So I'm, I want it to match on the other end. So I'm going to hold off because the, the um, pattern said to go ahead and do the rest of that border. But because of my screw up, I think I'm going to need to do the inside and then do the border so that I can get it to match. It's a very small mess up. Um, so not a big deal. My husband, I, I told him, I said, yeah, this is a mystery stitch along, you know, you know, I don't know, you know, what it's going to end up looking like. And he said, well, you know, I hate to spoil it for you, but I think it's going to say Merry Christmas or Merry something. Yeah. You know. So I guess he doesn't quite understand the whole concept of um, mystery stitch along. But anyway, he appreciates my cross stitch. Um, he's uh, working on building his office downstairs in our basement, and I've just ordered... Bird designs. I can't remember whoever has the magical mystery tour of the sort of primitive looking um, Yellow Submarine, Eleanor Rigby, just four, four or five different Beatles songs. And so I've got those patterns and he said, you know, I think those would look good in my office. And I think that's a sign of an amazing husband that's requesting cross-stitched items for his office. So anyway, and I got a little bit of haul, not much. So if you're not a haul person, Tune out now if I haven't bored you already. All right, this is my favorite part of my haul, though. So this frame is specifically sized for Mill Hill kits. And so the little shop that I got the frame also had mats, that the $4 for these mats. And so, you know, these are easy to frame. And so I got a couple of different mats, and then I'm going to take these to my local Hobby Lobby and have them cut me some more in different colors. So then when I finish my Mill Hill kits, and I can change them out according to the season. So I thought that was economical. Um, and this sort of matches the decor of my house. So I got the frame and two mats and a couple of Mill Hill kits. One of the little birds, probably my winter, one of my winter scenes, um, and then a gather together. I really did pretty good on this. I got um, the Cricut Collection um, Winter, and they had a sample in the shop. It was absolutely amazing. Um, Autumn, that's my favorite one. Spring. All right, and here's the problem. They made summer a different size. Why? It just does not make sense. So I have three lovely little packages and then one big thing. Whatever. Um, and so I want to be able to find a frame where I can do very much the same as the Mill Hill kits. Just change it out according to the season. Got to stitch them first, but that's the plan. Um, I also got the Stony Creek Autumn Splendor. Beautiful. And um, Autumn Santa, I love it. And on the back, it shows the others. I had not ever seen the others. But, yeah, I need to get those. Um, so summer, winter, and spring. And I think I want to do like a the hanging on this. And again, change it out according to the season. But they're very, very pretty. Um, almost done. Uh, drawn thread. So the trick or treat, which I've been eyeing for a while. And well, when I look on my one, two, three wish list, one, two, three stitch wish list, it's almost all drawn thread. I just, I like their style. I like the colors. Um, that's, that's what I'm into. And then when I came home and checked the mail, um, this was waiting for me. So the Stony Creek, 12 Days of Christmas. So I just thought that was absolutely beautiful. Loved that partridge right in the middle. So yeah, so I've got, oh, one more thing. This. So this I'd never seen before. Um, Hin, Hinsel? Hins, I don't know. Hin, Hinsite. So it's tree ornaments. And so if you look, those are people's names. 
And so you, they've got charts inside and, um, you know, depending on how many letters are in the name, it tells you, you know, which size and, and then you do the name up and down. So, so yeah, my husband was really impressed with that. He thought that was really cool and then came up with an obscene name I could do for his son for Christmas. So, whatever. I don't think I'll spend the time to do that. Um, he's just playing. He loves his son. He just calls him names all the time. So anyway, so wanted to just come on here real quick and um, give you an update. Um, life is good. Leaves are falling. We're finally getting fall weather here in North Georgia. Still no rain. Um, lots of wildfires. Uh, that it's, They call it a D4 condition, drought 4. It's the worst kind of drought you can have. And so we're under smoke advisories because of the wildfires that are breaking out and um, up in the a little bit further north. I'm only an hour south of Chattanooga, and that area I think is getting hit pretty hard with the fires. So um, yeah, we'd love some rain, love some water, um, but uh, but yeah, enjoying the crisp weather. So um, all right, time to go do laundry, get ready for the week, and um, maybe get some stitching done. So thanks for tuning in. Um, I will um, see y'all probably in about a month or so because I only stitch on Sundays, so I usually don't have many updates. So take care, happy Thanksgiving, and a happy fall, y'all.